Have you ever looked at all the gear musicians use and wonder, how does it all work? My name's Dustin and my family and I are setting out on a quest to inspire both adult and kid musicians to create new sounds together and learn all about what it takes to produce great music. We'd like to invite you along on the journey as we explore the gear professional studios, musicians, and hobbyists use to create their art. We'll take a close-up look at the gear and ask, What's this button do? Hello and welcome to this week's episode of What's This Button Do? I'm your host, Dustin, and today we are going to be digging into the new Soldano Astro 20 that you see back here behind me. This is Soldano's newest amp and a complete departure from the usual slow amps that you've seen me play here on the show before. Um, it has a ton of features on it, but I think the part that intrigued me the most when I first saw the product announcement is this amp not only has three channels with some heavier distortion and some clean channels built in, but it also can be played directly into your interface or your computer without a cab attached. So if you live in an apartment or uh, an area where you can't make any sound when you're recording, you can actually plug this amp directly into your interface and it has its own load box built in so you don't even have to have a guitar cabinet you don't have to make any external noise that anybody else would hear and you can still be recording a full-on guitar sound through one box one unit without having to buy any external equipment like the ox box or a, a boss wazacraft all the things that we've used to direct record in the past so this intrigued me. I was fascinated by it when I saw the announcement. You know how much I love Soldano. Um, so I thought, hey, we got to get our hands on one of these. Luckily, my friends over at Palin Music had one. Uh, so they brought it over. Uh, as you saw in the uh, intro, Spencer came over. We played with it a little bit. Unfortunately, we recorded Spencer over here, and one of the microphones got knocked over during the recording, and our sound did not work, so I had to re-record some things. So you're not going to hear Spencer's beautiful playing on most of this, um, but we are going to uh, take a look at this up close and see some of the fun features and benefits, we'll kind of walk through it, and then let you uh, make the decision for yourself if you like it or not. So please join me over at the amp. Let's go have some fun, play this, and see what we get. All right, so in order to do this demo, we're gonna do a couple of different things. What I've got is you're gonna see up in the corner up there, you're gonna see my Orion audio interface. And what I've done is I've mic'd up a one by 12 Celestian cream back cabinet. And I've got the Soldano plugged into that. I've got a Royer and an SM57 miking that cabinet up. And then I've also got the Soldano hooked directly into my interface. So basically, channel four right here is the Soldano Direct. Channel five and six are my microphones in the room. So when I activate those, what you're gonna, we're gonna bounce back and forth so you can hear what the live in the room sounds like, but also what the direct signal from the Soldano sounds like, so you can see how well their IRs capture their natural sound. So I tried to get these as close as I could. Um, it, there's a little bit of, of give and take here uh, between live sound and IR sound, but I'll try and give you a good estimation of what that sounds like. Uh, for the first part of it, we're gonna be running through my uh, Gibson Les Paul, uh, because it's got a little darker neck pickup and I want you to hear how that uh, affects things. Um, but then we're going to switch over to my callings that has some throwback with some higher gain when we get to the higher gain channels of the amp. But we're going to start off on the clean side. Now if you take a look at the amp, it's a real easy structure layout. You're going to see this kind of world over here. That is actually your indicator to tell you what channel you're in, but also what IRs you're using when you're going direct. We'll kind of look at that in a second when we start talking about the IRs, but just know that green is your clean channel. So when you're looking at the green channel, you're gonna notice a couple things. First thing is, is there's only really two main controls and one little switch here. You've got a volume, you've got a tone, and then you've got this little switch underneath that's a bright switch and kind of a bright cap. And this is really interesting because it's a it's off, then to the left, it gives it a little bit of a boost, and then to the right, it gives it a much bigger boost. You will notice this makes a huge change, especially when we're going direct. So let me just play a little bit here. I'm gonna leave the tone in the middle. I'm gonna leave the volume right about where it's at right now, and I'll just play in the neck pickup here for a second so you can kind of hear what this sounds like. Now, the first thing you'll notice, the whole time I've been rambling here, this amp's been on, and, and you're hearing the microphone noise uh, from that cabinet. Here's what it sounds like when I start playing. <laughs> Now,
Now you notice my neck pickup is a little bit muddy, so there's a little bit of, of tone loss there. Let's turn up the tone a bit, and this is kind of in its own EQ. You'll notice there's an EQ over here, but this section does not affect the clean section of the amp. The clean section of the amp is completely separate from the rest of the amplifier, so your, your EQs that are over on the right-hand side do nothing here. This is just a master kind of tone EQ, so by bringing it up, you're bringing up a little bit of the mids and the trebles and taking out a little of the bass. So you can hear how much chimier that is. Cool. Now, let's switch over to our, our, our IR and see how that sounds. Now, the first thing you'll notice, it's not an exact copy here. We've got an IR, but it's not sounding like it was in the room. But here's the cool thing. Soldano gives you six preloaded IRs without even having to get into their software. You'll see these little dots all around this planet here. Each one of those dots is a different IR, and this little cabinet simulator here, by flicking it, we change the IR. So now we've moved into this one. Let's see what that sounds like. Now that's a lot closer to our real sound. Let's switch back here. That is really cool. Now you notice I used a Royer and an SM57. That's because that's what they used when they created the IRs here. I wanted to as closely match that sound in the room as I could with the IRs. And you'll, but you'll notice that miking is always going to be a brighter sound. It's always going to be a livelier sound. But they got pretty dang close here. Now let's switch back to that IR for a second because I want to show you the power of the bright switch. The bright switch. Let's turn that on. We'll turn on to the lower level first. See how that brought out the treble side? And you'll notice that's way closer to our live sound in the room. I think the bright switch when you're using an IR is really, really, really powerful here. Let's flip it all the way to its most powerful setting. And let's see what that sounds like. Now let's go back to our in the room with the bright switch on. And here it's a lot brighter now. When I take it back to the middle though, you're gonna hear we were really close. Just a real beautiful sound. And when you finger pick too, Real nice, real simple. Now, I will say this is not like a Fender clean. This is not that chimey sound because you don't have a reverb in here. You don't have a trim in here. Um, there is there is less brightness and less air in the room, if you will, when you're playing this versus something that has a nice reverb tank in it to give you a little bit more sound. But you could make up for that with effects in doing that. But it is a little bit different clean sound. Um, I had my brother-in-law and I had Spencer from Palin Music come by and we were testing this out and playing it and both of them had the same kind of commentary. They were like, really like the clean. It's really, really clean and it's a good platform clean, but it's a very clean clean. It's very stale. There's no, no extra oomph over the top. There's no chime ringing out over the top of it. So it's definitely a clean that you want to build off of and add some effects to to really, really get you that full clean tone that you'd, you'd be expecting if you're wanting to get like a really, really beautiful clean amp sound. But I'm going to guess that 99% of you that are coming here to look at a Soldano demo are not here for the cleans. You are here for the, the dirtier section of this. So let's hop over there, and this is really cool. When you look at the layout of the amp, what you're going to see here is this is your clean section. When we move channels, all of this no longer matters. The bright switches deactivate, everything else deactivates off of here, and we're going to be using from here over for the rest of this demo. You'll notice there are two gain channels. Two, or two gain knobs, two volume knobs, 
and then a bass, middle, and treble EQ in the center here. A master volume over here and a presence knob. I'm not gonna mess with the master volume. I've just got it set. We're gonna set it and forget it and just use that level for the entire demo. But I wanna talk a little bit before we make any more sounds about what the other knobs do. Because the first thing you're gonna notice is you've got two gain knobs here. And really what this amp is, is a three channel amp. You've got a clean channel and then you've got two gain channels. But the cool thing is, is they've added this little galaxy switch. And what that lets you do is you get to decide what those channels are. There are three different galaxies that the distortion and the dirt in this amp live within. And you get to set up both channels however you want. So if you want a kind of clean, bluesier, drivey tone, you can do that for channel one, and then you can make channel two a hard, gnarly distortion, or you can make channel to the hard gnarly distortion and make channel three this really clean beautiful sound. You get to pick the order that you do them in and create your own channels there. And you can set independent gains and independent volume levels for each channel that you're using by just setting those and then you can save a MIDI uh, program if you use MIDI and if not you just record it into the amp, you save it into the amp and then that becomes the settings that are already pre-programmed to the amp. You don't have to use MIDI to do all of that if you're, you're like me and you just don't know how to program MIDI. Don't worry about it, you don't need to know. The amp lets you do it yourself. Now, we're not gonna mess with the whole channel one, channel two thing. We don't need to because we can achieve all the different settings in one channel by just switching through the different galaxies so that you can hear them. So today I'm just going to flip over to channel one and I'm going to operate in here and you'll notice I know I'm in channel one because the light under volume one appeared. If I switch channels again, the light under volume two will appear. And if I switch channels again, it's going to go back to the green mode, which is our clean mode. So I'm going to go to channel one to volume one. I'm gonna leave my volume right here. We got our gain kind of up around the 10 o'clock mark. We got our bass pretty close to the middle, middle to the middle, and then treble just up just a little bit. Let's hear how that sounds. I'm gonna move down into my bridge pickup on the Les Paul, just for a little bit of gain here. So let's see what we got. Not too shabby, you can hear that little edge of breakup. Let's see if we can clean this channel up, because I am curious if we turn the volume up a little bit and the gain down, see if we can keep this kind of clean and make it like a clean. That's a nice chimey clean, I like that. And for those who, I've seen some demos on this amp already where people have kind of complained that, hey, the clean channel, all you have is that tone sweep. You can't change the bass, the mids, and the, and the treble. I wish they would have made that three band EQ work on the clean side. Well, here's your solution. Switch over to your first gain channel since it's not super dirty anyways turn your gain down and now you've got a beautiful clean channel and the nice thing about that is you can boost the volume up a little bit and we can even take this gain up kind of the edge of breakup see how much nicer that sounds now and then if i dig in pretty dang cool but that's our mic sound. Let's switch over and change to our cab IR and let's see what we got there. Not too shabby. Now, notice I did not cover the presence knob yet. I wanna show you what that does presence knob if I bring this way back over to the right what that does is pull you back in the mix a little bit washes out your treble and your mids a little bit now as I bring that presence up if I go all the way up you're gonna hear it's gonna be real trebly
I like to leave the presence kind of right around there where you're targeting kind of the edge of this galaxy over here because it gives you a nice forward sound without being too chimey. And when I'm going direct here, I think you can bring the gain up just a little bit. Because now if I turn the volume down on my guitar, I can clean it up a little bit just like you would on a pedal. And then I can roll my volume on my guitar up. Now let's roll that gain up a little bit and let's see how much crunch we can get out of this. Let's go back to our live sound. If we go all the way out with the gain. I'm going to roll my volume back on my guitar. Let's switch back over to my IR real quick and let's see how that handles on the IR. That took my volume rolling back pretty well. I'm gonna roll my volume up. shabby and you notice when I palm mute it you're really not getting a whole lot of feedback sound coming from the amp itself you can hear, still hear me talk over it and when I switch over into the room too you're really not too bad here I'm not like listening to a really really loud over pulsating sound even though I've got that gain maxed out all the way now I do think the gain and the volume knobs together are gonna be to play off of each other so the more gain you introduce the more you want to bring the volume back but I do think there's a lot, lot of playfulness there that's really, really cool. All right, now let's switch guitars. I'm gonna bring in those high gain throwbacks. I'm gonna tune down to drop D on the callings, and let's see how the next two channels sound with a little bit heavier gain. All right, we're back with the callings now. Now let's have a little bit of fun. We're gonna switch over to the next Galaxy. I'm gonna, I've kinda got my gains back down. I'm gonna bring my volume back down a little bit when we first start off here and we're gonna switch into the Purple Galaxy. Now the Purple Galaxy is a heavier gain than the Crunch section, but it's not as heavy as the Red section that we're gonna get into in a second. It reminds me kind of of a diesel sound. It gives you a little bit tighter gain, a little bit tighter crunch to it, especially with the gain turned down. What I find in this is we play with this amp uh, a little bit is the higher up that you get the gain knob in the two highest gain channels, the fuzzier your sound is gonna get, almost like you've got a big muff pedal running into an amp. It's not the gainy structure that you would normally see in like a Marshall amp. So for example, if I just hit a uh, D. <laughs> First thing you'll notice is, is usually if you were playing like a Marshall Plexi or a Marshall Super Lead, you get this sag, you get this instant kind of like air being sucked out of the room feeling and a compression that hits when you hit a heavy note like that. With this, it doesn't have that same kind of sag to it. There is a pull there, but it's not the same kind of feeling. So this feels a little bit more modern, a little bit cleaner than what you would get from a traditional higher gain amp. And if we bring the volume up to kind of where we were sitting at earlier. that 
little bit of fuzz there, a little bit cleaner if I bring the gain up to around the one o'clock area. You hear the higher that gets, the more fuzz we introduce if I max out the gain. Nice, pretty tight, but you still get that little extra fuzz. I think this really shines when you've got it in the little bit lower gain setting right around there, and you have your volume up a bit, and your presence even up just a little bit. It lets you really give you that. So when you palm mute, you're not getting a lot of extra signal. It's almost like a noise gate, but there's no gate there. So it's just a really nice, tight, clean sound. Let's switch over to the direct signal real quick. Now here, since we've switched into a high gain, we might need a little bit tighter IR. Let's switch around and see what we've got here. We're going to switch some IRs. You'll notice as I move this cabinet button, these lights change around there. That's changing our cabinet that the Soldano is using in the IRs. So, I keep switching. try this. Now let's try bringing up the gain a little bit with that. Maybe the volume just a little. tight. I like that. That's got a really good sound to it. Let's switch back to our live sound and see where we're at there. We do that same thing. Nice, nice. That's pretty cool. But Again, more of a modern kind of gain structure, and the bigger we get that gain, the fuzzier it's gonna sound. Let's switch over to the red channel and see how that goes, because this is gonna give us a lot more boost. I'm gonna turn the gain back down a little bit. I'm gonna keep the volume right about where it's at. We'll switch over into the red. Now you can instantly hear a little bit more gain structure there. Let's bring that gain up. You're gonna hear more fuzz here. Now notice when I palm mute, you're a little bit noisier now. You got a lot more sound going on. I'm gonna turn down the volume on the guitar. Now, you're gonna notice that was a little less tight than the previous channel was, but you get a lot more gain structure there, a lot more distortion for heavier music. That makes a lot of sense. What I find though, is if we bring this gain down quite a bit, we bring the presence up a little, and we keep this volume right around where it's at, and bring the mids up just a bit, and the treble up just a bit, Let's see what happens there in this red channel. Now let's switch back to the purple channel here real quick. 
I'm gonna leave the settings exactly the same. <laughs> that I think by using that red channel bringing the gain back using your volume up and your presence up you can really create a really tight powerful gain structure that isn't too overwhelming the more you bring that gain up the fuzzier it's going to get and the more you introduce almost that muff like tone that can overwhelm not my style of music personally I like it with the tighter gain structure but I could see like people who are playing heavier metal um, wanting to get a, a bigger room filling noise and even if you're playing a baritone or something a little bit heavier you may want to have that get a little bit fuzzier and a little cre creamier there's a lot of different sounds in there when we switch over into the direct mode what I've also found here if I turn this back up <laughs> You can hear when I do the pick squeals and things, it doesn't get quite as much attack on there. It doesn't get quite as much treble on the pick squeals when you're going direct in. Part of that is the IR, and if we flip through and we switch some IRs around, you can change that a little bit. But I will say after a little bit of testing, I'm just using the normal IRs on here right now. But if you drop like a nicer, higher gain uh, own hammer or York IR, and rather than doing like a cream back like I've got in there now, do something a little bit more metal, something a little bit heavier. You can go V30 or you can go with like a nice Mesa cabinet or a two rock cabinet. You can really, really get some crazy squeals out of there too, even on the IRs. So there is a lot to love about this and what you can do with those gain structures to change them around and create some new sounds, both in the direct and the live sound. There's just a lot going on here. Okay, that's just a little smattering of what you can do with this amp. I didn't want to go too crazy over overboard in detail here, but I just wanted you to hear some of those basic sounds comparatively on the computer and through a live mic so that you could see how those IRs respond and, and what kind of sound you really do get when you plug directly in without a cab attached to the uh, amplifier. First of all, the fact that it has its own built-in load box so that you have the option to completely play it without a cab plugged in, I think for home recording, for studios that are in quiet spaces where you really can't have a lot of sound out there and where you don't want them to interfere with microphones that are being recorded, I think there is a lot, lot, lot to love about this amp because even though it's a little pricey uh, coming in at that around the $19 to $2,000 uh, mark, when you consider that something like an aux box or a uh, Boss Wazacraft tube expander is going to be in that $1,000 to $1,200 range, plus you would have to buy an amp on top of that. So if you went for like a, a cheaper, like a PRS, you know, MT series, um, even then you're still going to be spending about $2,000 to get a clean and a drive channel. Um, and I think, I think the quality that you get here is really, really nice. Um, like I said in the demo, um, all of us kind of agreed that played the amp. The cleans are not a Fender style clean. It's definitely a more stale, clean clean that you can build upon with pedals and, and other effects. But if you're looking for that chimey, unique blooming sound that you get out of an old Fender Deluxe, anything like that, it isn't that type of clean. It's a different sound. Um, but the distortion's there, the gain is there. Um, there's even some fuzz kind of built in in tap that it's a little different than your traditional Marshall, uh, kind of like we talked about in the video. So I think this is a really fun, different sounding amp. Now, personally, I like it mic'd up better than I like the, the IRs. I do think if uh, I was gonna do this long term, I would probably load up some of my York IRs, some of my own hammer IRs, um, and play around with that a little bit. I think 
tweaking it with different IRs based on the sound that you're going for is going to be really fun. And they have an amazing little app that you can download on your computer to navigate all of that. So they've made it really easy for you to be able to load new sounds and try out new things on the amp, which is another amazing benefit that Soldano have included with this. So I would definitely do that. The IRs that they've included are great. They have even more that come with the software when you download it. So you get more than just the six that are built into there, but you can play with that, add more, uh, find more things out there. And I'm sure that's going to grow. I wouldn't be surprised if there's already an online community where you can pick that stuff up and go crazy. So take a look for that. Hopefully this gives you a good idea of some of the sounds that you can get out of here so that you can uh, judge that for yourself if this will be the right fit for you. Um, but I, I do like it. I do think it's unique. I think it's got its own little footprint in the world. But especially if you don't already have an IR uh, box or an aux box or anything that you can run IRs through, um, and you need that silent recording situation, I think this brings a lot to the table for that kind of consumer. So a lot, a lot of different fun sounds that you can make there. So Soldano, well done here. I think this is a really unique product to bring to the table. And I, I'm interested to see how this is going to spawn other companies and, and Soldano even to take like a slow 30. I, I'd be interested to see if they do something like that um, with their other amps and start, you're going to, I think you're going to start seeing this from a lot of amp manufacturers where they're starting to put on board load boxes um, specifically designed for that amp so that you can play them cabless, um, but still capture that tube sound and that tube breakup that you just can't get with a solid state amp. So very, very excited to see what this does, um, but I hope that gives you a, a good idea of the audio samples. I want to thank my friends over at Palin Music for loaning this to me so that I could shoot this demo. Um, I really wanted to get my hands on one, and they just happened to get one in when I was there in the store, uh, so they let me borrow it. I'm going to have to bring it back on Monday, and that's a bummer, but uh, really glad that we got to play with it here in the studio. So. Hope you enjoy that. If you're looking for one, please contact them. I'll put their link down below. I know as of the time of this taping, they have one combo unit in stock and one head in stock. So if you're really interested in this, please give them a yell. I'm sure they would be happy to hook you up with it. Um, and if you get a chance, please go follow me over on Instagram. Um, we're going to be talking a little bit more about this. I'm hoping I can clean up some of the footage with Spencer and I and salvage some of that. And I'll be loading it on there as well because I want you to hear some more of his beautiful playing. He does such a great job on that. Um, but thank you all so much for coming out this week. I really appreciate it. Next week, we're going to be doing a deep dive on some more pedals. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to join you live this week. For anybody who's watching the live cast, I am actually on a trip uh, this week for my day job. So uh, sorry I'm not there. Uh, on the live chat today chatting with you uh, but I will be back next week and be able to talk to you then and then in a few weeks we'll be heading out to NAM. so we're going to have all sorts of fun new things to talk about then so thank you so much look forward to seeing you in the future if you have any questions at all just drop a comment down below I'll be glad to help you however I can if you've got questions on uh, the Soldano and uh, want to know more about it please let me know if you've had some experience with these or if you've got some ideas of cool IRs to load into here comment down below we want to share that with everybody in the community so that anybody who picks one of these up can experiment with it, try new sounds, and come up with some really, really cool ideas. Well, thank you so much. Have a wonderful week, and we'll see you soon. Take care.